Did you pee? Did you pee on the director's shoes? Yes. This is my dog Scotch. He is a uh, ten and a half year old Jack Russell Terrier. We used to do this trick. It was called rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Thanks, bud. Oh. Okay, you can go now. I'm Benjamin Flanick. Most people might recognize me from The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. I was bachelor number 16. I grew up in Sonoma, California with a uh, younger sister and, and two lovely parents. Small town, small town, suburbia, but it was, it was very European. I'm a product of my environment, uh, very much uh, into fine dining and, and drinking nice wines and, and getting around people, bike riding, wine tasting, you name it. Uh, Sonoma's, Sonoma's influential in, in my life. Just like every other kid, I was teased for some odd reason. I was on a bus in sixth grade. Some kid crawled underneath the bus seat and tied my shoelaces up to, uh, to the bus seat. I got up and tried to get off my stop. I fell down, I missed my stop. So I think that like early on in, like in those, those early experiences, you have these little chips on your shoulder. Um, you want to amount to something more. It gave me visions of grandeur. I've lived in San Francisco for the better part of a decade. Generally, you'll find me on a road bike, um, cruising across the Golden Gate Bridge. I do go up to the oyster farms. I do a lot of hiking out in, out in Point Reyes. Um, outdoorsy dude, I run with my dog, Scotch. Obviously having gone on these, these crazy television shows and trying to, to find love, and you always find it when you're least expecting it. I met this beautiful woman on Tinder, the, the dating app. Gosh, it's been like a year and a half now. She had never seen the show. She didn't really recognize me. So when we met, I think some of her friends had told her, we, this is the guy, yada, yada. She's like, I don't watch the show. Having the, the Bachelor not work out worked as a disadvantage for me later in, in life uh, because I would always be cautious and never knowing why this person wanted to be in a relationship with me or date me or, or what. But I don't know, I, I found someone very genuine. Tinder works. Go figure, Tinder works. I think what most people um, don't know about me is that like the winemaking thing was just one of the many projects I had going at the time that we picked for The Bachelor because it was romantic and the process kind of coincides with, with dating. I did leave my winery last year to focus on another uh, adult beverage product. I tend to, to lean that way. I like making booze for the masses. This one being called Fernet Francisco. It's a local Amaro we make here out of San Francisco. And then given my, my background with The Bachelor, I'm about, I'm about to release this new consumer application called The Gentleman. This isn't a dating application. This is for people who are dating or in relationships. The point of The Gentleman is to assist and make sure they're never forgetting about events, um, dates, relationship advice. Could be pretty cool. I'd say overall my life philosophy is, this may sound kind of trite, but you know, be nice to others. Life's really short. I lost my dad at a really young age, so I try to be as nice as I can to everyone. I don't really stress about the little or big things. <laughs> Keep on keeping on, kick it, take it easy. That's all I got. <laughs>